There's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. What's up all my social comment friends? It's Dustin and I'm back with another video. Now this is a change of scenery. I'm in the quietest room of the house as of right now. We do have some house guests. Our dogs are downstairs. They're going a little bit crazy. So if you guys hear that in the background, <laughs> we'll try to work through that. Before I jump into this video, I do want to quickly say that you guys really, really, really bought Hair AF after I put it in the last video. So Jen decided to let my code run until like Monday night. So if you guys are interested in that, you can use code Dustin and get 30% off. Uh, like I said before, if you've watched my videos in the past week or two, you would know that I've been talking about Hair AF. It has literally changed my life. Uh, if you use code Dustin, I will get a small percentage. Uh, it's an affiliate code. So I will make a commission from that, but the product really truly does speak for itself. Uh, I'm not trying to like blow smoke up your ass or anything like that. I just want you guys to be able to get it when it's at a lower price because it will not be on sale very often throughout the year, maybe a couple times. So if you are so inclined, I implore you to go check out Hair AF and give it a go. But now I want to talk about James Charles. Now you guys know everything that has happened with James Charles with the guys, the Instagram, all of this different stuff, the Snapchat, Tati, all these different things that has resulted in James Charles effectively like almost being canceled but not really being canceled. And a lot of people have varying opinions on how they feel about James Charles, but most recently James Charles found himself in, I don't even want to say a pickle, but in a predicament at the airport and it's quite common, the predicament that he found himself in. I'm gonna put in the clip here for you guys to see, just so you can see where I'm coming from and what I'm gonna be talking about in this video so you can make up your own mind so I'm not trying to sway you, and then I'll be back with more commentary. Something that I simply just did not understand is how, as a society, we have agreed to just let airlines get away with scamming people. So I'm at the airport checking in for my flight, as per usual, and I put my bag on the scale before checking it, and she goes, ooh, sorry, babe, it's 51 pounds, it's gonna be $100. I said, you can't just let it slide, please. She goes, no, sorry, it's overweight. You're gonna have to pay $100 or take something out. I said, absolutely fucking not am I paying $100 for this. So I unzipped my bag. I removed one pair of socks, one sole pair of socks and a straightening iron. Zip it back up, put it back on the scale, magically 49 pounds. I need my scale at home to lie to me like that because that is some bullshit. I could understand if it was like a gravity thing and they're like, oh, the bags are too heavy so the plane is literally going to whoo, pew, fall out of the sky. Like, obviously we don't want that to happen, but how could it be a gravity thing if the bags are still going on the plane? They're just below the plane as opposed to in the overhead compartment. It's still equally as heavy. It's not gonna tip over. Like, what the fuck? So in this clip, you would see James Charles going through the airport and you know, when you go to the airport, there's size limits on your bags and there's also weight limits and any normal person would just remove things and just go on about their day and just not pay the hundred dollars. But James Charles felt inclined to ask if the person could just let it slide. And I'm like, why should you be the exception? James Charles out of everyone, I'm pretty sure could afford a hundred dollars. I don't really understand why he's bitching over a hundred dollars while I agree that I think that is bullshit. The airlines charge a hundred dollars to add extra baggage and things like that. The weight, um, I don't really understand why he's complaining about it because $100 is a lot cheaper than it was for him to fly men out to him or ask to fly men out to him. So I don't really understand what the big deal was about the $100. I agree it's a scam, but him bitching about it is such a first world problem. And listen, I get it. I totally, totally get it. I've been in that same situation myself before and I didn't want to pay the $100, but I didn't make a stink about it on uh, Instagram. I didn't make a stink about it on Twitter. Now, I do make my own rants quite occasionally because I have so many different interactions with different companies that I buy things from that I have issues with, but that's me having an issue, not me going against policy. You get what I'm saying? So I see a major difference there. And for James Charles to just act like he's entitled this $100 or asking if it could slide, I would never in a million years ask if I I could slide on something that would cost a hundred dollars. Now there were people in the comments replying to him. Uh, pretty much there was even a pilot that replied to him and said, we do this because it's harder work for the people that load the planes. They have to go in different places. And it's a safety issue really because you have to make sure that the weight of the plane is distributed evenly. And that's why they charge the extra hundred dollars to deter people from overpacking their bags. So while I agree that it is kind of a scam. It's not, it's really a safety thing. James Charles and none of these other influencers that I ever talk about on here ever have a problem scamming their following. So it's really ironic that he would get on here and talk this way about an airline and then bitch because they charged him an extra hundred dollars. Like a hundred dollars to James Charles is like a drop in the bucket. You know what I mean? And he knows he's flown probably just as much as I have, even probably more than me. He has flown more than me. He knows that there's weight restrictions on bags and things. So I just think that he really just needs to shut up about it. Now, there was a lot of people that were replying to him and they were like, I can't believe as a society you haven't been locked up. And I made a TikTok about it. 
Something that I simply just did not understand is how as a society we have agreed to just let airlines get away with scamming people. So I'm at the airport checking in for my flight as per usual and I put my bag on the scale before checking it. And she goes, oh, sorry, babe. It's 51 pounds. It's going to be a hundred dollars. I said, you can. <laughs> I just thought that it was the funniest thing. I cannot believe that in 2022, that after everything James Charles has done, every bit of drama that he's been in from Ebola gate all the way up until now with him talking about minors and talking to minors, texting minors, all that different stuff that he's admitted to that he is going to die on the hill of complaining about a hundred dollars. That's where we're at. That's what we're doing in 2022, James. Like, I think you have bigger fish to fry. I think you have other things that you need to worry about. But you guys, let me know what you think about that down below. I did want to touch quickly on Ethan Klein. I was going to make a whole video about this, but I don't know if I want to rehash everything because I feel like there's already been so many videos made about it. And I didn't want to like get too far into it. But basically, if you watched anything about uh, Will Smith, Jada Smith, Chris Rock and all that, Ethan kind of flew off of the handle and he was like not making really much sense to me because he was trying to equate what Will Smith did at the uh, Oscars to like physical abuse at home. And I was just like, no, this is not a good look, Ethan. And I kind of wanted to make a video about it, but I'm like, has it already been done? Has this topic already been beaten to death? Have people already like voiced their opinions on it and I'm going to be last to the show. So I don't know if you guys really want me to make a video on that, but I did find some interesting clips and Paige did send me some clips of Ethan that I was really truly not aware of. I didn't know that they existed. I didn't know that Ethan said the things in the past that he said, but I get why people would say that this was kind of like a racially motivated thing. Now, I don't really necessarily agree with how Will Smith handled it. Do I think that we should be able to defend our partners? Yes, but there has since been things that have came out about Will Smith and the same types of jokes that he made and got offended by. And I, I don't really know what to think about the situation anymore. But what I do know is that Ethan Klein really just went too far because there was people calling into his live stream and he was like arguing with them and hanging up on them because he didn't agree with what they were saying. I think he even told AB to shut up uh, at one point in the live stream. And <laughs> it's just not really a good look. Even for Ela, I was really shocked at the way that she went. And then the whole apology with uh, the baby in the background, it seemed so contrived to me. What a mess. When you mess up and you have to have your kid in the background and you try to make it this thing where people feel sorry for you or what you're going through, I just, I don't get it. Basically what it boils down to, in my mind, James Charles and Ethan are both influencers to some degree. They both hold a lot of influence here on the internet. And when they fuck up, they really can't admit it. And it's truly really not that hard to do. I think that even Ethan addressed this because in the apology that I'm talking about where Ela was in the back with the baby, he said that he does say racist things, but he's working on himself. I'm like, that doesn't... <laughs> like, there's no excuse for that at all. But I did find some clips, and there were some clips sent to me that you guys sent and Paige sent me that I would like to sit down and make a video about it. I have everything. I even made the thumbnail. I have all the different stuff. I, I just didn't have time to sit down and actually talk about it today. But if you guys are interested in that, please let me know down below. And let me know what you think about James Charles. I know this is a quick all over the place video because we're about to go swimming. Like I said, we have some people here in town. I do have Rosalie and uh, Chelly Loves Makeup 91 here from Facebook. I love these girls so, so, so much. I want to film some content with them. I want to see if I can get them to do my makeup. They've been saying that they want to do my makeup. So if you guys would like to see that, leave me... What kind of emoji could you leave me down below? Leave me a palette emoji down below if you would be interested in seeing that because these girls can do makeup like no other. And I feel like it would be like kind of cool because they have some tea and they like to call it chisme. <laughs> I think chisme is gossip or drama in Spanish. And that's what we've been running around the house saying. And they said that they want to film with me. Uh, but if you would like to see that, let me know down below. Let me know what you think about James Charles and let me know what you think about Ethan Klein because I feel like this whole situation is a mess what, <laughs> with both of them. And also don't forget if you would like to try hair AF, the code is going to work until Monday. It's code Dustin. You get 30% off. It's an amazing product. It's a two-month supply. It really, truly does work. It has changed my life. I do make a small commission. This is not a sponsored video. It's just a, an affiliate code situation. Jen is one of my best friends. I love her to death, and her product really, truly does speak for itself. But I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.